Well, hello, my friends here on the YouTube channel. Um, just completed a 10 day ride around the Pyrenees. Uh, that's road and off road on the 790. So, thought I'd spend a bit of time just going through some of the bits and bobs put together to try and make the bike uh, uh, suitable for the ride, which it was. It was um, absolutely brilliant. So, I'm just going to take a quick pan around the bike to show you um, some of the bits and bobs that put on. Uh, hopefully, you can see there I did uh, 1,825.3 miles from start to finish. Uh, fantastic time. Uh, so modifications. Well, first of all, look at the front. A friend of mine put a couple of plastic uh, uh, protectors for the uh, for the mirror uh, for the, sorry for the headlight. That seemed to work really well. It could be a bit better, but um, it's great. Tied them on just in case because it's going to be really bumpy. Uh, managed to adapt uh, Garmin. Uh, fixture so I got my Garmin Montana 600 on the front and as you can see I've got like a uh, case <laughs> made out of the bottom of a four litre milk bottle uh, cut to shape holes drilled through slot cut at the bottom and then the Garmin mounted just to give it a bit of shade uh, and then covered with black tape so yeah that worked really well um, if you pull back a little bit you can see that I put on uh, Oxford hot grips they were really useful in the mornings uh, really cold up there sometimes six degrees the only problem is when I glued on this uh, left hand one, obviously it melted when we had a heat of 36 degrees, so it uh, turned a bit on the, uh, on the handlebar, but there again, I'll just fix that pretty easy. And uh, the Oxford controller for it. Um, in order to see my phone, you can see up on the front here, I uh, put on a quad lock system. Really, really good, really useful. Able to just pull the phone off, take photos, shove it back on again. So yeah, really, really good. I'll go through that a bit later on. Um, one of my latest uh, purchases was this uh, Giant Loop tank bag. Really cool, really easy to get on and off. Really pleased with it, nice zip-on base to it. Uh, when you stop, easy just undo the two clips, flip it up. Again, I'll show you that a bit later on. Uh, round to the back here. Uh, you can see my luggage system. Easy to use, easy to get on, easy to get off. Just uh, one strap either side. You can see there it comes on and off really easily. It's a bags connection, a cargo bag. I've had it for about uh, three years, four years now. And it's done lots of journey. You can see I put my knee, knee pads on the outside. And again, not fully waterproof, so I've got a, an inside waterproof cover, uh, waterproof bag, a Coleman waterproof thinner there, bought from a local uh, camping shop. Um, and then tools. Tools are in the side of the bag, but on the back I've got an Enduristan uh, dry bag here. Uh, really kept it light, just an inner tube and a few bits and bobs, so I didn't put too much weight on the back of the bike. And again, that stayed on for the whole journey, no problems at all. A couple of nice straps on there, just to hold down my waterproof. They were from Nomad. And uh, yeah, really useful, uh, adaptable system there. Come around to this side, you can see, I've got the, the graphics. Mustn't forget the graphics. Um, they're really, really good. Thank you, Crispy Designs. Really make a difference to the bike. And uh, just coming down, I think one of the last things, second to last thing you can see, here you've got the, uh, uh, the Camel ADV one finger clutch adaption. Really, really good. I'll explain why a bit later on, uh, mainly due to an injury to my uh, wrist and uh, made changing gear really, really easy. And then one of the final things here tucked away up on the, uh, let's go back up a little bit and have a look see, is uh, the uh, tyre pressure gauge I bought. Just a generic one, I'll just switch it on for you. Uh, really just because I was a bit worried about the, uh, the distance as we were going. And uh, there you go, in bar 2.2, 2.2, really nice. Really clear, just so I could uh, a bit more confidence in what the uh, tire pressure was doing. Um, and as you can see, general condition, a bit on the filthy side. So she needs a good clean. Um, yeah, so I'll give her a clean, maybe a few bits and bobs. Uh, that's, this is where I mounted the, uh, the camera that I'm using now, adrift. So uh, yeah, hope it's all good. Uh, and I'll uh, show you a few more bits and bobs as I go through the videos. So um, let's have a look at the uh, giant loop back here. It's uh, really easy to use. Um, there's two buckles basically. Um, just show you this one. One on the, exactly the same on the other side, just clips and then the whole thing just lifts up. Great for when you're sitting on the seat. You know, you've got your phone but your phone's not in the way. Pull it up, get your bits and bobs out, close it down again. Two buckles, one either side. That one, same on the other side and you're gone. Little pocket there. I wouldn't carry anything in it though. It tends to jump out a bit. And of course, not guaranteed waterproof, but the nice thing is you get this really nice bright yellow inner. Velcro to the bottom, comes out, and you can see it holds lower slash, gloves, ca uh, glasses, chargers, mobile phones, all sorts of things in there. Really, really good. And uh, I took a little tablet with me, a little Samsung tablet, 
And again, nice little waterproof section on the top there. Slide it in, again, maps, etc., etc. Really, really good. And as for coming off, well, really, really simple, really. Nice zip on at the bottom, zip either side. And this is really cool for filling up at petrol stations. Flip it over, you've got access to your petrol, your, your petrol uh, cap there. This is fixed on permanently, two straps either side, two straps at the front. And again, went on the bike really, really well. Very pleased with it. Um, this never came off at all. In fact, I left it on most places. We had uh, good safe parking, but really, really easy to use, especially at filling up at petrol stations. Down, sit back on again. Also really good for when you're riding. Um, when you're riding standing up, can lean up against the, the, the front of this. There's a nice little angle here as well. So yeah, really came in useful. Good little bag, glad I bought it. Okay, main luggage, bags connection. Really, really cool bag, I like it. Really nice central space in here. Also two side pockets, you can see I've got bits and bobs in there at the moment. On the other side, there you go, my neck roll and stuff. Two really nice sections there. I put stuff in plastic bags because it's not fully waterproof. But on the other side, I use my roll, my Krieger tool bag. Kept the weight down low. I'm not wearing these uh, knee pads, which is on the ferry and stuff like that. Pop them in there, really, really cool. Excellent. Main compartment, open with a zip. You can access it when it's on the bike, although it's easier when it's, it's you know, obviously not on the bike. Not fully waterproof, so what I do. Camping shop. A Coleman bag here, really, really good. Easy to just fold over, roll up, and like most things, buckle in, nice and waterproof. Get your gear in there, pop it in the bag, no problems at all. And one bag, one belt, clipped in one side, one on the other side, around the back of the tail light, holds it in, keeps it back so it doesn't push you forward when you're riding. Again, great bike uh, bag to use, dead easy to get off. Just unclip by the side and. Uh, I usually tie these back up in there so don't trip over them. Again, unclip on this side, tie it back up. And then it's got a lovely carrying handle at the front. i get this one out of the way. There you go, quick tie up. And now he's loose. I turn it around sideways. Got a nice hidden handle here. Zip it out. Here we go, off into a hotel with it. All right, cheers, bye. All right, to the back of the bike, Enduristan tool bag here really nice waterproof used it a couple of occasions basically just a couple of extra straps keep it down on there easy peasy I looped it through easy get on and off in fact I never took it off the whole trip nice safe parking little space on the top and my lock again never used my lock little spanner that's for you adjusting the uh, the uh, pressure gauges on the the wheels put in and a nice uh, another long strap there just in case you had to pull anybody out a bit of tow rope again dead easy to use I do like these, nice clips on the side, rolls in, plenty of space, and uh, literally uh, a bit of oil. Uh, first aid bag, I like to carry one with me, there you go, first aid bag. Uh, if I'm changing tyres, I like to try and protect my wheels a bit. And uh, inner tube, there you go, nice inner tube. Uh, 21 inch for the front, just in case, although I'm obviously running tubeless, um, there might be somebody else on the trip who's not. And again, dead easy to pull, up, pull off, there you go, a strap. Take it away, give it a wash, it'll be good as new. Okay, I mentioned uh, earlier on that I uh, had a problem with my wrist uh, three years ago, broke the scaphoid on my left hand, so fine, healed, no problems really, but uh, just to ease the pressure, when I bought the bike, I got the quick shifter fixed, fitted. Obviously can't show you that because it's an electronic, but the quick shifter's there. Uh, fantastic for coming down gears when you're attacking some of those corners and really great for off-road as well. What I like to do though is I obviously like to keep my hand as much as possible onto the, uh, the, ha the handlebars. So uh, that's really good. I can just change gear quite quickly without uh, worrying too much about it. Um, I also have these little, uh, I suppose, palm uh, supports on both sides. Again, really great, just fits, I'll show you underneath, just fits neatly there. And again, just takes the pressure off, keeps my hand up straight. It's really, really cool. Got that one of those on the accelerator side as well. Um, and the nice thing, if I just go around the bike, you can see I've taken a few bits and pieces off now, but it's still, it needs a bit of a clean. I think you probably agree with me looking at it. Um, yeah, it was whizzed around a little bit. I got this Camel uh, ADV sort of assistant on here. Really great. It really does reduce the pressure that you need to put on when you're changing gear. Um, you know, just uh, another help for me, which is really great. Uh, really enjoyed it, really liked it. I thought it was a great bit of kit and made riding so much easier. I go back up to the top again, again, you can see, here on the, uh, the accelerator side, again, I got one of those palm uh, sort of supports, and again, yep, 
you know, a few quid off of eBay, uh, no problem with that. And again, just really fits in there nicely with a glove, and it means you just don't have to uh, to worry so much about uh, the stress and strain if you uh, if you like me and uh, getting on in age. I talked a little bit earlier on about having the Oxford heater grips on there. Uh, there's the controller, just come across a bit. The only issue I had really was fitting the, the throttle side, because if you look at the original throttle, throttle body of the uh, KTM, there's quite a lot of cutouts there. There's that sneaky little cutout on the inside. Uh, they've all got a fit, obviously, inside the, uh, the electronic section here. So, um, yeah, a little bit thinking, because I had to get the old Dremel system out and uh, cut the Oxford grip to size on the plastic, and. Uh, yeah, it worked really well. Uh, a bit stiff now. <laughs> it's got the sand and crap inside there, so it needed a cleaning out. But uh, yeah, if you're going to do that, that's maybe the only thing you have to do. You can have to match up the uh, the contours of the original uh, uh, grips there. Finally, just the pressure system um, mounted here. I uh, just pulled it off. It comes on a system very much like a mount, very much like the one I've got here for my drift. But um, all I did really was I found a bolt that fit into the back of it. Uh, a bit of a washer on there, fitted it through so I can actually get hold of it, and uh, brilliant. And if I just go down to the wheel, there's the the, uh, the system on the wheel itself. They both managed okay and both uh, kept me in contact with what the pressure was doing. So yeah, really pleased with that. Again, not that much money really, just another sort of uh, nice peace of mind thing. So there, so there we are then. A good look around the bike. Obviously the next thing to do is uh, give it a good clean and uh, yeah, get out and ride it again. So, thanks for listening, appreciate it. Uh, hope you get on your 790s, hope you enjoy your rides.